Hi guys, how are you? Today I am in my bedroom because I have been getting some messages on Instagram asking if I could show how I store all of my art and craft supplies. So then in my Instagram stories I did a poll to see if you guys really do want that video and everyone said yes, so today that's what I am going to do. So here is how I store my supplies and what works best for me. Along this wall in my bedroom is where most of my storage is, and it is also where my desk is that I work at. First, I have these two cubby cabinets. The first cubby, which has the three square shelves I got at Target, I believe it was $20, which isn't too bad. On the top of it, I just have my Peter Pan plush things from the Disney store. Um, Peter Pan's my favorite, so I had to find a special little place for that. But on the shelves themselves, I use it to store my creative journals, and most of them I do videos on. The next shelf has six of those little cubbies, and I believe my mom got this for me at Lowe's like ten years ago. But on the top, I keep this little mesh basket that I got at Target for I think like $3. Inside there, I just keep the journals that I am currently working on, that way I can find them easily. In front of that, I have a sketchbook and a little container of gumbians. I have a magazine rack that has my test sheet for my alcohol-based markers, a bunch of tablets and things I use for pen palling, and then this storage thing has a bunch of my washi tapes in it. My sister Nikki got this for me for Christmas, and I think it's technically to store glasses in, like eyeglasses. But in the first row, I have my Disney washi tapes, then I have my washi tapes that have words on it, and then I have washi tapes that have, like, food, except for the bottom one. It has cactuses. Then I have my plain colors and glitter and metallic. The container under it has most of my colored pencils inside. I used to keep them in a plain pencil box, but now there's too many that they don't fit. And also, I found that keeping them in there, the lead would break all of the time. So I decided to use this. It's actually a jewelry box, and it is much more padded. And I also have a shopping bag in there. That way, when I carry it around, the pencils won't, like, hit off the sides. And I found since I've done this, the lead inside the pencil doesn't break as often. And for the actual shelves, they all have these little plastic storage bins that I got at Target. They were each $3. I love having things in these little bins because if there's something I want to carry to my desk, I just take the whole bin out and set it on my desk while I'm working with that supply. This first section has all kinds of things that I use for pen palling and for replying to letters from my P.O. box. Let me move this. This is something I'm working on for someone. So there are all kinds of cards and stationery and postcards in the box. And then this box of envelopes is too big to fit into there, like it's too long. So I just stick it next to it. The next one is full of washi tape. In this pouch I have all of my narrow washi tapes. In the other one I, it's full of like little washi tape samples from Pen Pals. And then this thing is just full of more. I don't think you can tell exactly how much is in here, but it's completely full of washi tape. So then coming down a level, this one is also full of things that I use for pen palling and mail. It has some little decorative envelopes that I can use to put things in, and it also has some little tags. A lot of these tags I use for washi tape samples for pen pals. I wonder how many times I'm going to say washi tape in this video. Probably a lot. I have an obsession. This next one has all of my little adhesive felt and foam crafting things. I don't even know what you would call these. I also have my extra staples and a piece of fabric that I bought for a journal page that I was supposed to cover in fabric, but I can't remember which journal I bought it for, so I'm just keeping it there until I remember. And then the two on the bottom shelf. This one just has, like, extra journals and paper stuff in it. And the last one is most of my stickers. In the pencil box, I have, like, 
small little stickers that pen pals have sent to me and then in here there are so many sticker books and sticker sheets like there's one book and another book some more packs of stickers a whole bunch of sticker books these ones came with a planner more sticker books next to that shelf i keep a little trash can right under my desk that way when i am um, working on journals and artwork, if I have any scraps of anything, I can easily throw them away and they don't end up all over my room. Next is my desk and I absolutely love this desk. I got it at Ikea and I believe it is called the Mickey desk. It has some storage on the side. It also has a giant drawer that is perfect for storage. On the top of my desk, I have a picture frame from Target that has a picture of my nieces and nephews in it. And then I have some pen storage. The white one is from Ikea. I got it the same day I got my desk. In that one, I have like all of my outliner pens. And then the bee mug and the little sugar dish I got at Target. And there I have like a pair of scissors, pencils, and regular pens. And then this little sugar dish I just use to put little bits and bobs in that I want to add either to like my daily journal or my reckless journal. Next to that I have this little dish which has just become a catch-all for things on my desk. Um, I bought this at Ikea as well. And the reason I bought this is because it's the perfect size to cover the hole that is meant for computer cords. Like literally there's a hole in the desk. I also have these little containers from Target that look like Chinese takeout containers. Um, they're meant for like sugar and flour, but I didn't care. I thought they were cute. Um, but in here, I think currently I just have some British candy. The larger one is completely full of glue sticks. I use so many glue sticks, so when they are on the cartwheel app or on clearance, I buy as many as I can. Then I have a picture frame from Target <laughs> with me and a picture of my nephew Alex the day he was born. And then that's a whole bunch of mail that I still have to put in like where I store my mail from everybody, which you'll see in a couple minutes. And then I just have my planner that I write my work schedule in and a few packs of highlighters. And then in the drawer, which I hope is clean. Okay, it's not too bad. Um, I have all kinds of stuff, I told you. It has a really nice big drawer. In the little storage things in the back, I have things I don't use that often. This side I have some little post-it note things and little notebooks. This is a pack of Christmas washi tape that my sister gave to me for Christmas. Then I have a hole punch and I think that one makes little hearts. I have my stapler, extra lead, more post-it notes, more washi tapes. All these ones are like holiday washi tapes. Um, I have my headphones and a whole bunch of other little storage things. And then the side of the desk has four cubbies that are about the same size as the shelves on the other side of my desk. There are two that face the front and then two like off to the side. On the first shelf that faces towards the front, I have two little plastic storage containers. This one has all kinds- oh, the drawer is stuck. It has all kinds of like little crafting papers and things of different sizes. And then this next one, can can you guess what's in here? Can can you? It's more washi tape. The top one actually just has like regular tapes in it. Um, but then in these ones, these are the kind that have like the peel off backs so they don't stay closed very well. So to have them in the bin with my other washi tapes, they would just come un- Raveled and be all over the place. So I keep those kinds like in here. See what I mean? See what they do? So I just keep them in their own drawers. On the next shelf, I have this Tsum Tsum sticker book from Leia. I have this Flow magazine, which is all of these amazing like papers and stickers. And Anouk sent this to me. Um, and here is a planner that. I keep all kinds of stickers in there. This is my little address book. This is a little, like, it's a canvas storage thing from the brand 31. And I keep Mod Podge, um, Elmer's glue. This little thing is to stick my iPod in 
to make the music sound louder. This little bin is from Target. I used to keep my acrylic paints in it, but I have too many paints now, so it is currently empty. I'm sure it'll be full of washi tape probably one day. That, that's one thing I cannot stop buying is washi tape. And then there are two shelves off to the side. Up here is like all of my letters from you guys. Let me show you. It's so cute. I but this pink one has all of my pocket letters. This one is from a girl named Courtney in the UK. This one's from my sister. Me and my sister send a lot of mail. This one was sent to my P.O. Box. Um, this one was... This binder I use to keep all of the letters from you guys in here. Um, some of them might have addresses. Okay, this page doesn't. But what I do is... These are like those little protective sleeves. Um... And if they're like a card that opens, I make sure I glue them in in a way that I can slide the piece of paper out and still open the card to read it when I want to. Some more. Look, a little custom Disney card. Super cute. I gotta be careful. That one has an address. Um, but yeah, I keep every single, every single thing that anybody ever sends to But look how cute. They made like little Peter Pan, um... Whatchamacallit. Stationary. Yeah, whatchamacallit. And on the envelope that it came in, she put, like, a little picture of Peter Pan. I just, I love looking through this. It makes me so happy. Oh, some pages of journals that people sent to me, like, from the prompts. You had to write letters to somebody. Um, some people have, like, sent me the ones that are, like, have a friend write on this page and then tape it back in. So, like, when I send their reply, I send the page back after I've written on it. And then, from my desk over, I have this little storage thing, which I got at Michael's, and I absolutely love this. It stores so much stuff. The top shelf has my alcohol-based markers, my paint markers. This little thing has all of my gel pens in it. That is another little pencil box that looks like a carton of milk. Then I have some other, like, colored pencils under this. These ones are woodless metallic pencils, which is why I do not keep them with all my other ones because I feel like they would break super easily. Then I have some Prismacolor pencils, and then I also have like extra pens and pencils. The next shelf has even more pencils, some more Prismacolored ones, and then these ones are Spectrum Noir. Then I just have these Crayola markers. I have some packing tape, a whole bunch of erasers, glue sticks, and then under the glue sticks, oh, these are the little blades for my paper cutter. And then I have a whole bunch of glitter. And in the bottom shelf is like all my painting supplies. So a whole bunch of paint, little palettes, watercolor, paint, pencils, extra glitter that didn't fit up on the top shelf, and um, paint brushes. Next to it, I have a canvas. Two of these magically appeared in my room. <laughs> I believe my sister Andrea put them in here before she left after Christmas. Yeah, I used one of them already. I painted those cactuses the other night, but I believe my sister left those in here. And then the last place I store things is in under the bed storage. Those two are just like other random things, but then these ones all have crafting and art supplies in them. This one is like all my ribbons and strings. These are empty washi tape containers on the side. I keep them for when I travel and I want to bring art supplies. They're really convenient. Pick out the washi tapes I want to take, put them in here, and you're good to go. These are giant um, foam hearts that I had for a craft project when I was in like middle school, I think. And they're just still there. And then these are inks and stamps. And then this is like, there is my chalk. If you watch my Vlogmas, you would know that I was looking for my chalk and I never found it. And guess what? Here it is. Great. And this last, oh, this is heavy. This last thing has all of my scrapbooking paper and stuff in it. This one, though, I just got at Michael's recently. And it has all of the paper that I've used to cut for things. Like, some of these papers are from the Reckless Journal now in color, some are actual scrapbook paper, but these are ones that have been cut and I use for little projects. 
And then this is for when my nieces and nephews want to make crafts. Um, this one is another little container and it has all of the holiday scrapbook paper. And then on to the side I have like all of the books of paper and then there's loose paper under the books too. But there are so many things in here. It's super heavy. Thanks for watching. I love your beautiful faces and I will see you next time. Bye!